Okay. Let's get started. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a collective haul unboxing slash reveal. <clears throat> so let me give you a little backstory here. Uh, March was crazy for me. I'm on a first class ticket end of this month to the band island. So no Louis Vuitton like for one month. Definitely one month. Even more maybe. So I've been really 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 naughty and I've purchased a lot of things and I am like I said I'm on a band island so before I do this unboxing I'm gonna do a really big disclaimer right here all these things that I've purchased I purchased with my own money and um, I uh, work really really hard for the things that I purchased because I have a really stressful job and it's like I said before uh, it's a really physically and uh, emotionally draining job so if you don't know what it's like to be a chef it is hard so let me just give you that as a disclaimer because I don't know I'm not sure if anyone thinks this but I am not spoiled at all and my boyfriend doesn't buy me these things and he will never buy me these things but let's just hope <laughs> And, um, yeah. Ah, and I need to go back to my backstory. This month was crazy because we went to the Louis Vuitton store with a whole lot of group. If you didn't see my vlog, it's the video before that, my last video. So, yeah. Let's get started before I start rambling again because I'm in a chatty mood, like always. So, first thing that I purchased was on the 5th of March 2016 and that's the day I found out that my essay George Samuel doesn't even work there anymore he was he transferred to the Basel store so now I that day I started working with a new essay his name is Lionel Plotner he is super if you're in Zurich and looking for a great Louis Vuitton essay he's the one to go he's really nice and really helpful like I was in the market to have my name hot stamped and I asked him if it was possible because I've seen on Instagram someone's name like Stacy five letter word was like um, hot stamped and he was like uh, that was probably hot stamped um, in a rush because it was kind of not aligned it was like um, how you call it? a little bit Schräg. How you say schräg? Okay, it was just not aligned. So he's like, yeah, they probably did in a hurry, so. And that was that. So I actually went in to see several things which they didn't have in stock. So I was like, oh, bummer. Can you order me for that next time? And he's like, yeah, sure, no problem. And there was one piece that I really, really wanted. And um, he managed to um, order it for me because there was not many left in Switzerland. So he ordered me one fresh from the uh, from Paris. I need to sneeze. Okay. <laughs> and um, it arrived two weeks later. So the first thing I got on that day was this not this envelope. It came in with this receipt right here in this box and it was, let me just put it the right way, a toiletry pouch 26. So I've been wanting, after I had the toiletry pouch 19 and I sold it, I wanted the 26 for many reasons because I wanted to use it as a toiletry pouch like the name would suggest it could be used as and because this one is more structured it looks really great as a clutch that's why I really wanted this piece again so this was the first piece I got and let me just show you it is Cotter Fabric Cowhead 
cowhide leather lining and man-made lining. Oh, leather trim and man-made lining. So it just looks like this on the inside. And yeah, I'm really, really happy. And momentarily, in Europe, or Germany, Austria, and Switzerland, there is a back order on these pieces. Um, I've seen it, like, um, on the website. I'm not sure if they're discontinuing it. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure they're not. But they're on back order, so... Um, there might be a waiting list for this now until they make some more I don't know but that's what I saw on the other day on the website so what I do with my pieces is I stuff them to be stored and these are just air paper you get when you order things yeah my house is always a mess with these air papers because when I'm using the bigger piece which I'm gonna show you there's lots of air paper in it and I just dump it on the floor and my boyfriend gets obviously mad so that was that and the other piece that I bought okay oh it's not on this receipt because it's a replacement and um yeah no it wasn't this it came in this box and it's I'm already using it so this is the luggage tag, and this is the small one. So if you guys can see that, this is just a small one. I didn't get it hot stamped yet, because I'm still waiting to see if they can uh, write my name on it, my full name. But we're just hoping. So the next time I go in to see Lionel, in a month, or in two months, we'll see if we can get this hot stamped. So yeah, and just another thing, I put my luggage tag on this really good, cool hook. I've seen a lot of people do this on Instagram, and it's really easy just to take it on and off. So this is a lobster clasp swivel hook, and I got mine on Etsy, and the Etsy seller's name is Life2, the number two, Creation, and they make like... This one is a larger one if I compare it for you guys. This is a larger one and this one has more of it like a D hook. You guys can see that. Oh. Just like that. And then they have another lobster swivel clasp hook or whatever you call it. This is more a rounded hook. And then we have like these two really mini ones. And I'm not sure if you guys can see a difference in the color, but one is light gold and one is gold. So I would suggest you go with gold because the gold matches more to the hardware of the Louis Vuitton. If you guys can see that. So that was that. I just want to mention that. And this is going to come really handy for the next piece that I bought. So when was I? Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. This is. We have in the next Louis Vuitton visit we made, we have two receipts because one is a repair item. So we have a repair item which I'm going to show you guys right here. Okay, in this box, and it's the bigger luggage tag. This is the normal size luggage tag. Just to compare it with this one, like so, and we're just going to later on hook it onto the bigger one so it looks a little more proportionate to the luggage tag. And that was piece that I got as a repair, and I got another piece of repair. Did I even take it out today? I have no idea where it is. <sighs> hmm. I'm sorry guys, I have to find this piece or else I'll... We'll never find it. And 
there we go. So this piece, another replacement piece, was this lock and key for the piece I'm going to reveal later to you guys. So I also got this as a replacement piece and it came in this really cute box. The only sad thing is Lionel, Lionel always gift wraps everything for me. Like the smaller items he would also put like ribbon and a little card on it. So that was the, because I didn't work with Lionel this time around. I only worked with Lionel once on the 5th of March and on the 16th of March I worked with this other guy. He was really good looking but yeah. No, he was, I don't know, slightly rude. I don't remember actually. So I cannot tell you na his name because I don't even know it. And he didn't even write it, did he? Oh no, I cannot even pronounce it, so. So that was the replacement pieces that I got. And let's start with the smaller thing that I got for my larger purchases. Um, came in this box right here with its dust bag and coated fabric um, cowhide leather trimming. So let's see, where is this piece? I think I put it in my bag. Yeah. It is dun dun dun, dun this um, six ring key holder in poppy. Now I'm not sure if you guys can see this lining this is such a beautiful lining and I really wanted this color which they didn't have then when we went for the Sunday brunch, a uh, Saturday brunch. So this is the piece and the color. It is really beautiful and in the back with the six ring key holder you can even keep a card in the back. So that is super. Just to show you made in France right there. And let's see if we can find it. Um, this was made in 2000, the 8th week of 2016. So this was a really nice purchase for me and the color for me is like a coral pink with slight um, orange undertones, which I love. So it was a good buy. So, hi guys, I'm sorry, but my camera just cut off, so we're going to do this again from where it cut off. So the next piece that I got was the piece I wanted for a long time. I've seen lots of YouTubers get this piece in Ampriant leather, but let me just show you. It came in this box right here with of course the receipts and the receipt holder and it was this piece that I got and this is the twice monogram with the black um, leather I think it's leather but um, yeah this is what I got and if you'd like a review ugh, um, a full in-depth review of this bag um, just leave me a thumbs up or leave me a comment. Better, better leave me a comment because I'll see that more than I see the thumbs up. So this one has the adjustable straps. Um, three pockets. The front pocket which is closed with them. Um, I don't know where my words are. With the... Ooh, with the button button. Then you have this middle pocket which has magnetic closure and you have the back pocket which has a zip closure. So this is a really functional and multi multiple use bag because you can wear this on the shoulder, crossbody, or if you're going out you can pop this right inside the straps. Just takes up a little more space, but you can use it also as a clutch. So I really love this piece, and I've been wearing this piece now 
for two days and I really love it. So far so good. So, like I said, this is a really beautiful piece. Just one thing you have to know, the, the button, the front button, the just the um, zipper is made of matte gold. The zipper pull, however, and the adjustable strap um, hardware is made out of shiny gold. I'm not sure if that's going to bother some people, but that's how it is. So this might not be a piece for you if you don't like Max Gold and Gold together. So that was a, the biggest purchase that day. And then I made a small purchase. I've mentioned before that I'm in several Facebook um, Louis Vuitton groups. And usually they they come, how you go, they uh, give you great prices and sometimes you can haggle it a little bit down but usually they come with great prices. So that's why I picked up this piece. This is a Louis Vuitton Helen wallet and this one is really small. It's like almost the size of my hand, just like so. If I compare this to my... Um, Poppy uh, multi clay, it's just slightly bigger. If you guys can see, like um, size of the width is fine, just the height is a little bit, and the depth is just a little bit bigger. So that is a piece, and this is a really functional wallet, and I'm going to be happy to use it with my uh, with my um, twice comes like this, you open it up, you have two card holders, uh, card slots here, one uh, back pocket, and then you have here the coin holder, which has behind it also um, a, cards, uh, a card pocket, and then you can open this up, and this one also fits cards in it, and you have the back side, and the back of the coin purse has another slot right here, and then you have two more card slots right here and then you have space for your bills so this was a really great buy and I'm still going to get it authenticated the next time we go to Louis Vuitton so that was that and another piece that I wanted for the longest time since maybe I was a preteen was a key ball and there were two things well, three things that I really wanted in a key pole. It had to be 45 because the largest size you can take on a plane is the 55. So I wanted to, you can go safe and have buy the 50, but I wanted the smaller one. And yeah, 40, it had to be 45, it had to be bandolier, and it had to be patinaed. So those were my three conditions and a shout out to Hey June who also bought this piece and I saw her reveal and I'm not sure if it's a new video but I just recently came over, uh, came across her channel because she liked my Instagram picture and I was like, oh my god, cool. She, she, she is really cute. She's over in Australia and she has um, a lot of followers and she's pretty great. So. Um, she's a really sweet person and I like her videos so I'm pretty sure you guys all know her but if you don't go out go go out and check her out her name is hey June I'm not sure how many Y's that is but type that up in YouTube and Instagram and go check her out if you haven't already so that's why I got this piece so this piece is currently fully stuffed with tons of air paper. I really wanted... Wait, I'm just gonna close this up. I've always wanted a key ball, so now I have a key ball. And this is gonna come handy for my travels. And yeah, it's in really good condition. If you can... I really didn't mind the rain stains because I just wanted that really nice look from Patina and yeah that's why I got this baby and I'm really happy to her own her and for the deal for the price it was coming on I was like I don't mind the rain stain so that was another great purchase so. 
Hi guys, I just wanted to come back on and say if you guys enjoyed this video, give this a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet and wish to do so, it would mean a lot to me and I'll see you guys next time.